Retired black players fight NFL brain injury payout algorithm based on race. Thousands of retired black professional football players, their families and supporters are demanding an end to the controversial use of race norming to determine which players are eligible for payout in the NFL $1 billion settlement of brain injury claim, a system experts say is discriminatory. Former Washington running back Ken Jenkins, 60, and his wife Amy Lewis on Friday delivered $50 petition demanding equal treatment for black players to senior U.S. District Judge Anita Brody in Philadelphia, who is overseeing the massive settlement. Former players who suffer dementia or other diagnoses can be eligible for a payoff. Under the settlement, however, the NFL has insisted on using a scoring algorithm on the dementia testing that assume black men start with lower cognitive skill. They must, therefore, score much lower than white to show enough mental decline to win an award. The practice, which went unnoticed until 2018, has made it harder for black former players to get award. My reaction was, well, here we go again, said Janky, a former running back. It's the same old nonsense for black folk to have to deal with some insidious, convoluted deals that are being made. Jenkins is now an insurance executive and is not experiencing any cognitive problem, but has plenty of NFL friends who are less fortunate. In March, Brody threw out a civil rights lawsuit that claimed the practice is discriminatory, but she later said in a feeling that the practice raised a very important issue and asked a magistrate judge to compile a report on the problem. She told the Associated Press she didn't know when it would be completed. Class counsel Chris Seeger, through his spokesman, he said he wants to end the practice of race norming and investigate any award that were evicted by adjustment in the past. We are investigating whether any claim have been impacted by a physician decision to apply such as adjustment. If we discover an adjustment has been inappropriately applied, I will fight for the right of black players to have those claims rescored. Seeger said. NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy was declined to comment on the issue in the past and didn't immediately return an email seeking comment Friday. The majority of legal 200,000 retirees are black, and only a quarter of the more than 200 men who sought award for early to moderate dementia have qualified under the testing program. Lawyers for black players have asked for details on how the $800 million in settlement payouts so far have broken along racial line, but have yet to achieve them. Race norming is sometimes used in medicine as a rogue proxy for socioeconomic factors that can evict someone's health. Experts in neurology say the way it's used in the NFL settlement is too simplistic and restrictive and has the effect of systemically discriminating against black players. Because every black retired NFL player has to perform lower on the test to qualify for an award than every day white player, and that's essentially systematic racism in determining this payout, said Catherine Possin, a neurology professor at the UCSF Memory and Aging Center. In other major settlements, including those tied to the September 11, 2001 terrorist attack and the Boston Marathon bombing, all claimants were treated the same. We concluded fairly quickly that we would take the top compensation for the white male and everyone would get the same, the top dollar, said lawyer Ken Feinberg, who was overseen many of the largest settlement funds. We will cure this compensatory discrimination by having a rising tide raise all ships. The first lawsuit accusing the NFL of hiding what it knew about the link between concussion and brain damage were filed in 2011. A trickle soon became a deluge, and the NFL, rather than risk a trial, agreed in 2013 to pay $765 million over 65 years for certain diagnoses, including Alzheimer's disease and dementia. But at the claim poured in, Brody feared the fund would run out early and ordered the cap removed. 
the NFL, which foots the bill, began challenging claim by the hundreds according to the claim's website. Thank you.